Welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so. And together, we shall make our Biafran dream a reality. A say. Finnish government cries out that they were blackmailed to arrest Simon Ekpa. Simon Ekpa, according to the compromised Nigerian news media, was arrested in Finland after Fake Buhari cried to the Finnish government for help and lied to them. Simon Ekpa was released some few minutes later and this got Fake Buhari very angry. Also, Fulani criminal DSS masquerading as unknown government killed Labour Party senatorial candidate and his supporters in Enugu. Instead of the Fulani useless commissioner of police to do the investigation, he was quick to blame the killings on IPOB and Eastern Security Network because they were the ones that organized this killing with the unknown gunmen who are mostly a bubago and criminal DSS. You know, the Fulani soldiers killed 18 innocent Biafrans and then tagged them as IPOB and Eastern Security Network, in order to cover up the extrajudicial killings in Biafra land. My brothers and my sisters, that has to come to an end. The United Kingdom government said that they are not supporting any candidate in the Nigerian elections, and this made Tunubu to collapse, while Fake Buhari rejoiced and laughed at Tunubu during the APC Lagos rally. But the truth is that the British government has threatened Fake Buhari that if, his, if their candidate fails to win the presidential elections, they will deal with him ruthlessly. Fake Buhari has ordered the arrest of Tunubu and any Nigerian politician that will ignite or may ignite any protest. Already, the criminal governor of Ogun State, Dakwa Biodun, has been summoned by criminal DSS for igniting protests after his stolen old Naira note that he looted and wants to use for vote buying was rejected by commercial banks in Ogun State. Even former Edo State Governor Adam Soshomole, a criminal, had to beg security agencies for mercy after he committed the same crime where he instigated and ignited senseless protests in Edo State. Because his looted money and the ones Tunubu gave to him to buy votes were not allowed. The only solution for true and genuine freedom is referendum, not elections. Not elections. You know, the governor of Ogun State stupidly gave his urchins money and lied to them to take to the bank that it was valid and they got there they were disappointed and they used that opportunity to cause mayhem they caused mayhem They are so frustrated and desperate at this time. 
The government warned politicians, that is the full landing Nigerian government, warned politicians to desist from exploiting the ongoing economic challenges in Nigeria to cause trouble before, during, and after the 2023 general elections. The full landing Nigerian government has said it, has, it is aware of plot by subversive element to use the current socio-economic climate created by the Naira redesign policy to ignite civil unrest in Nigeria. The National Security Advisor, Baba Gana Mongunu, made this known at the meeting of the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security in, a in Abuja, warning politicians to desist from exploiting the ongoing economic challenges in the country to cause trouble before, during, and after 2023 general elections. My brothers and my sisters, there is nothing the Fulani Janjaweed can do. All their evil plans will, will be truncated, will be exposed. Kogi State Governor cries like a baby after Fake Buhari abandons him for having affairs with the First Lady Aisha Buhari and planning to support Tunubu, who promised to help him launder all the stolen fund himself and his family stole from Kogiste's treasury. EFCC got court sanction to seize properties linked to the criminal Kogi State governor and Fulani slave. Governor Yaya Bello, the United States government, government finally opens up that Nigerian elections matters to the world, especially the UK and the US, including China, who are using their multinational companies to steal Biafra oil and gas and other mineral resources. INEC chairman wept as Ibo hunters Frustrated Fulani Janjaweed plans, and INEC is silent over the pa permanent voters' cards discovered in the Newe Forest. And Biafran youths have located owners of those PVCs, and they verified the validity of the PVCs on INEC site, and they were valid. Imagine what INEC planned to do to Biafrans. The Fulani terrorist governor of Kaduna State, Nasiru Erufai, has finally exposed helpless Uzodinjo and Dave Umehi as the two Biafran governors who want Mazen Namdekanu dead because they are angry that Mazen Namdekanu did not allow them to deliver Biafran land to the Fulani Caliphate as they promised and they believe that they truncated their dream of ever becoming the President of Nigeria. Thank you my brothers and my sisters for watching this video and bye bye for now.